Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, this is probably going to be a really short video just because I really don't have a lot of things to say in this video. Um, but as most of you might have already know, for those who have been following my channel for a while, um, every year I always try to update my top 100 films list. Um, I don't really quite remember which year I started doing this, but what basically a couple years back, um, I always wanted to kind of form my own top 100 film list since I've seen so many films and love so many films. And I really tried to narrow it down to 100 films that really kind of strike me as the best of all time. For me personally, I know not everybody's going to agree with all these films I have on this list. Um, so for those who've never seen this kind of list before from me, um, I am going to have this list in the description down below here in the video. And for those who are watching this on Facebook, I'm going to probably just post that list there. And obviously for those who just want to watch this video and see it on the video obviously like everybody else it's going to be in the video description but really all i'm going to cover in this video are just the two really only only two major updates i've done with it and they're really not very big one of them just has a different spot i think it's a higher spot on the list and one of them is a film that i wanted to add on to the slits and it was my um what am i trying to say one of my favorite films of 2017 so i figured my number one spot of my 2017 best of the year list probably should be on this list somewhere just because i've been adding those kind of films onto this list ever since I made this list so obviously adding that number one film on here would make the most sense um, so I guess let's go over the quick updates I've done with the list and that is at number 97 on the list for those who've been following this list all this time um, at number 97 I have Wonder Woman added onto the list it is my favorite film of 2017 um, it really is a film that really just kind of strikes me as a really great film that really was kind of the film that stood out to me the most in 2017. I just love the messages it has, the way it makes us think about us, us as a society, and just the symbolism and what it represents, and how um, the Wonder Woman character I think is really important and significant for DC, and just an important superhero figure in general. I really like how the film really represents that and what Patty Jenkins did with it, so it made it in at number 97 on my list. Um, another, I wouldn't say major change, but it's a change to the list regardless. Um, I put Pulp Fiction, I believe this is at a higher ranking than where it was. Um, I put Pulp Fiction at number 55. Um, it just, it's just a film where the more I think about it, the more I watch it. I think it was on TV recently where I really started to think about it too, so... Um, Pulp Fiction is just one of those films where the more I watch it, the more I dissect it, the more I realize just how great of a film it is, the more I appreciate it over time. Um, I really do think it is one of Quentin Tarantino's best films that he's ever worked on, and he's, he's made a lot of really good ones just to kind of show you how much I think, how great I think it is. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a really great film. It really shows how nonlinear storytelling can really work at its finest, um, it's just, it's a, like I said, it's just a film where the more I watch it, the more I kind of dissect it and realize just how much detailing went into it, I, the more I appreciate the way it was made. So Pulp Fiction is at number 55 on my list, which I do believe, once again, is a higher ranking than it was where it was at previously. Um, and I think that is it as far as changes are concerned. Um, for those who want to know what my top 10 of all time is, at least at this very moment in time anyway... Um, at number 10, I have E.T., The Extraterrestrial. This is, by the way, this isn't anything different. It's just a, my top 10 list, I believe, that I had all the way from last year's update till now. And I want to say I want to say 2017 is roughly where this list became where it's at. But anyway, number 10 is uh, E.T., The Extraterrestrial. Number 9 is Weird Science. Number 8 is Adaptation. Number 7 is Rocky Balboa. Number 6 is Ruby Sparks. Number 5 is The Shawshank Redemption. Number four is The Dark Knight. Number three is Forrest Gump. Number two is Bruce Almighty. And number one is still Iron Man. So those are the ten films for me personally that really represent the best of the best. Those are my ten personal favorites. Um, let me know down below what you guys think are the best of the best. Um, your personal top ten of all time. Uh, those are still my top ten of all time. So Iron Man's still number one for me. So um, just wanted to make this quick little video just kind of telling you the updates of what this list is. Uh, once again, it'll be in down the, in the description below for those who want to know what my top 100 current favorite films are. Um, and that's really all I had for this video, guys. So um, I guess I'll see you here for the next video, and um, I will talk more about movies in the next video.